Hey guys, so I am going to be doing an unboxing today. I'm so excited for this. I have been getting really annoyed with editing on my iPad. Um, I've been wanting a either laptop or desktop for a while. I used to have one and then I got rid of it and got my iPad, which is the iPad 2018 and it is really good, but I'm going to insert a screen recording of what the editing software is like and basically the editing on an iPad you have limited features because they're trying to make it usable on an iPad so it's kind of like the mobile version and it's just been really annoying me um, and yeah I thought that I wanted to step up my editing a bit and I mean I can spend hours on editing sometimes but it doesn't feel like it's spent hours because the quality still isn't like amazing um, so yeah I wanted to get a desktop which is what I've got you would have seen from the title and yeah, I wanted to have one that I can sit down at, edit, and I can have the full software. So this is the box. It is absolutely massive, um, and it's really heavy as well. So I got the Asus, and I'm just gonna bring up all the details so that I don't tell you the wrong thing. So the desktop that I got was the Asus Vivo, and I got the v214 and it's the 24 inch i5 um, intel core processor which means that it will be really fast basically um i'm not that big on all the techie stuff but i sort of checked it all with my dad and my sister who kind of know a bit more than i do about computers and they were like yeah that's good um so i went for 8 gig of ram because the one i had before was a little bit slow and that was 4 gig of ram and then i got one terabyte of um it's HDD um, memory, which is the hard drive. Then there's 256 gigabyte of SSD storage, which is um, like a separate one. So it basically means that's what will be kept, say something happened to your computer, I think. Don't hold me to that, but um, that's the understanding that I've got. And basically it's normal one PC. It doesn't have any monitor, which I really like because it's going on my dressing table. So I'm gonna be showing you how I set it up and everything. I need to stop talking and start unboxing because that's what you're all here for. So I'm gonna get some scissors and then we're gonna open this box. I'm gonna sit on the floor because I think it will be a bit more interactive than me sitting on this chair where I can't pick up and show you stuff. So don't mind Cleo, she is just sleeping on the bed. She looks super cute though. Um, so we're gonna unbox this. So I'm, I was really stupid and didn't actually check the description. So I think it comes with a keyboard and mouse. I'm hoping so anyway. Literally these are always so hard to open. There we go. So, this is so exciting. I just find I'm so much more productive when I'm sat at a desk rather than like if I'm sat in bed networking, I'm a lot less productive. Get all of the protective stuff off of it. So yes, it does come with a keyboard. So I was really surprised, I'm just gonna show you all of this, but I thought that this looked very much like the iMac packaging. So this is the keyboard and that is the mouse, it's wireless. But I thought that that looked very similar to the Mac one. It's all white and the keys are really flat. It's not like old fashioned keyboard or anything. So we're just gonna put that to one side. What else is in there? The power lead and everything is in there. And then we have the massive screen here. So I'm gonna turn you around once I've got everything out of the box and then I'm gonna start setting it up on my desk. So I'm gonna take this little sleeve that it's got on we can I love that it's edgeless on the sides the screen goes right to the end so the plan is to have it slotted in here so you can't move that any higher up and in that way I can have all my makeup stuff over here and the screen there right next to the TV. So I'm going to get the keyboard. Right, I'm going to turn you around and put you over here. So I am just getting the keyboard out. So where do the batteries go? There we go. 
So, love the style of this. And I actually quite like this setup just because it means that I can use this desk for makeup and for the computer as well. So, I've taken the um, little stopper which stops the batteries from working out so that we can then use it. Um, I don't actually know how to turn this on, which probably sounds really stupid. I'm assuming that if I read the instructions, I'll be able to find out. So, there is a power pack in here, like so. That looks like about it. The only thing that I can tell from the offset is that it's quite low. Um, I mean, usually I'm terrible. I have like my screens right up here, but that's just for work. So what I'm thinking is I might be able to get one of those desk tidies where it's like a little table so that this can then sit on something. So this would sit on like a little stand. Um, I know that I used to have one at work. Um, so yeah, apart from that, it looks all good first impression. So I'm going to plug it in and then we're going to start setting it up. I am so excited. But yeah, so far it looks really good. Um, I have an extension lead down here, so I'm going to plug it in down there. It's just so much nice. It's like a laptop in terms of it's literally just got the power lead. Like That's what I love about all-in-ones. It's just a lot less um, like wires and faff. And because they all come with wireless keyboards and mouse now, um, or it's a lot more common for them too, that also means that you don't have to plug in the mouse and keyboard to the back of the computer. How do I open this? I don't know where I put my scissors. They're on the floor and not all oh, these beauty scissors. So, I know I'm not reading the instructions, I'm just kind of winging it because I feel like it's not, it's kind of self-explanatory. So, yeah. Connect those two together, the two wires, and then plug it in and you're ready to go. I'm just like a floating head at the minute. Um, I'm going to try and put this round the back of the desk so that it like hides the wire. That worked. Oh, there we go. That looks good. So this is what the back looks like. I've seen loads of people go into detail about this. I had watched a bunch of reviews on it. So it's got four USB ports, um, two HDMIs, a network cable, and the, it would help if I don't break it. Um, and then the power cable, which goes in the end there. So, and I don't actually think I need to um, read the instructions on the keyboard and the mouse because I haven't figured out how to turn those on yet. I haven't even figured out how to turn the actual computer on. You know like usually there's a button somewhere. I feel like I'm missing something. Let's let's look in the book. That would be a good start. Um They just, there's always way too much writing. They just need pictures just to tell me how to turn it on. Oh, it is a wired keyboard and mouse. Where are the wires? Oh no, it's not. Just, just figured it out. Yep, we got it. God. Um, so. It says wireless and wired, so I'm guessing there's two different ones. Mine is wireless, I've now figured out. So, it shows this little picture, which um, down here, you pop the USB out of the actual mouse. And I was looking at this, thinking, where the hell is that? So you pop this off, and then it's here. So then you plug that in the back, and you're off. Um, I'm assuming... The keyboard has the same thing? No, no, the keyboard does not. So I'm assuming that comes on on its own accord. Um, I'm 
Okay, we haven't figured out the keyboard yet, but we've at least we've done one of them. We've figured out the mouse. Oh, okay. Ooh, exciting. So I'm going to turn this around so that I can explain this because, I mean, you might be a lot smarter than me, but, um, you know, I struggled, clearly. So this thing that's blended into the background is the on button. Um, yeah, so, I mean, that's all you really need to know, if I'm honest. I was like, oh, it's all self-explanatory, and then I couldn't even figure out how to turn it on. So I'm going to put you on the screen now so that you can see what's going on. So we're just loading up. Very excited. I'm going to do all of the boring stuff, and then I'll show you around, um, you know, all the language, that kind of stuff. Um, the keyboard still hasn't come on. So I don't know what to do with that, but the mouse should be working. I've plugged that in. I feel like they need a dummy guide for um for people like me. Um I'm going to plug that into a different Oh, I know what I need to do. It's the battery. You have to take the battery out because they can't have like a working battery in there it's just sat on the shelf so you take that out take that tiny little plastic bit off and then put it back in there we go now it works okay we're doing good so mouse is working i just haven't figured out the keyboard yet i think i must have Hi missed there. something i'm cortana and i'm here to help hello a little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. I don't Use like... your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to turn on narrator. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. Your region is set to United Kingdom. Is that correct? Oh, I can just speak. That's fancy. Your keyboard is set to United Kingdom. Would you like to stick with that? Yes. Yes. Cortona? Yes. She was working a minute ago, and now I've got to do it myself. Do you also type with another keyboard layout? Now, let's get you connected to a network. That way, you can get updates, apps, and cat videos as soon as possible. How about the first one on the list? Would you like to use that one? That was weird. Cortina said that she wanted to get my Wi-Fi up and running so that I could watch cat videos as soon as possible, which is just a bit unusual, but we're going to go with it. Um, now, type your credentials. She talks a lot. So I figured out the keyboard. The batteries were put in the wrong way round again because you can't have working batteries while it's sat on a shelf. Um, so I put those round the right way. She's waiting. Um, so yeah, but I think the batteries are partly dead. So that's also why it's not working. Oh, it is working. Okay, network password. Where are you? Go into my phone obviously i won't share this much with you anyway i'm going to type this in it's going to take a quick minute God. now type your credentials it's one of those passwords where when you get it wrong it's taking you that long to type it in that it's just a bit of a pain um right we got it wrong so we're doing that again now, type your credentials. Basically, this will only let me do a certain amount of characters and my network password is two characters longer than the amount that it will allow. I've literally never had that before. Um, Just so you know, connecting to a network now could save you some time later. I can't connect. If you want to I get can't. that out. Go away. 
This is stressing Next me up, out. The legal I, stuff. I don't want you to talk In to short, me anymore. You'll need to select accept to use Windows. You can decline, but then, you know, God, it's like windows. having an Alexa, but a horrible one. Um, right. Who is going to use this PC? Me. Password. Security question. What do we want? Done. No. Get help from your digital assistant, Cortona. No, I don't need any more from her. Find my device. Turn on find my device to use your device's location data to help you find your device if it's lost. I feel like it's very unlikely that I'm gonna lose a whole PC. So we're gonna say no to that. I think we're in. We're just going to wait for that to work and then I will be back. Oh wow, the screen looks very nice. I'm so easily impressed. Like, So this is what my home screen looks like. I love the look of Windows. That's why I couldn't go for a Mac. So I'm going to turn you like so. Excuse my cider in the background, it's a Friday. Um, and I'm just going to move this slightly so you can see what I'm doing. So, I wanted to see, so we want to go on the app store because I want to try and... So, I think I figured it out and it's really, really stupid. Um, I literally just went to my parents and said, like, have you changed the network password? It's not working. Like, what have you done to it? And then, um, it, it looks like my number lock might have been on. So I was typing the first numbers on this bit, and then when I got to the um, other numbers, I was typing it on this bit. So obviously if numlock is is off or on, whichever way round it is, then that won't work. So yeah, that's, that's how um, silly I am. Right. Let's make sure I'm doing this right. Right, I think we got it. Yay! Right, we are in. Right, so I know I'm really zoomed in, but I don't have like a mini tripod to go on my desk, so we're just like stacking you on top of stuff at the moment. Um, so, I'm just going on the app store. What can we get? Um, number one is Spotify, like... Even though I do have an Alexa, so I don't really need Spotify on here, but, um, you know, why not? So, Spotify, we are going to download. So, we are installing Spotify. What else do I want? So, I'm just downloading the software. Yes. So while that is downloading, I'm just going to add in all my favourites. So one thing that you can't do on YouTube for iPad um, or even on your phone is on the home screen of your channel, you know the recommended video on your front channel page. Basically you can't change that if um, you're on iPad or um, phone so I have to log on on someone else's computer every time I want to change that which means that mine is really backdated so whenever I have like recommended for new subscribers recommended for returning subscribers it's always like weeks behind and then it's like well people want to watch the new one so then they have to scroll down whereas you would usually put it in your recommended or you'd put something that's really popular that you think a lot of people will like and then every time they come to your channel they'll probably go for that but yeah um, I like that I can now do that and it just feels nicer having a desktop to do it on rather than an iPad where I sit in bed and I don't actually really do as much networking as I would if I was sat at a desk. I think I'm going to need a different chair though because this chair is literally already, it's like a stool and it's already killing my back. Um, what is my password? So, I'm going to turn you around so you can see the home of my YouTube page. So, 
while that is still downloading my editing software I'm just going to change this because I've been wanting to do it for a couple of days now so it's the customized channel part um, and then it's where you change these front screens so I want to change this to my come dine with me video if you haven't watched it already go and check it out um, we basically created an episode of come dine with me and it was really fun we tried to be serious but it ended up just being really silly so new videos on Tuesdays and Fridays which is when this will be going up if I edit it um, I'm planning to edit it on here hopefully um, because I thought that that might be quite cool to edit the video on here so and then on the new visitors I've got learning TikToks which I'm going to change also to the come dine with me one there we go and then you just have to save it and then yeah so I like that I can do that and I prefer replying to comments when you've got a keyboard it just makes it 10 times easier um, than doing it on your phone where you're typing with your hands obviously so there's a couple that I want to add to my watch later um, which I'm just going to do now while I'm waiting for that to download um, mm -mm -mm. right so that is that so it's all installed I just have to like log in now so it's just doing some initiating so I have logged in I've used my activation code and it's all fine I have the Filmora 9 which is like the I've got the pro version so it basically means you don't have like a watermark and stuff like that um, which if you just use a free trial then you will get and obviously I don't want that because I haven't had it in any of my videos before so I'm not going to start now so I'm just going to quickly show you what I'm going to be using. Um, I'm actually really excited because it's got a lot more features than my current. So this is all of the features. You can add transitions, effects, so you can like distort um, the view and everything. You can have different overlays. Uh, you can literally choose from any different title you wanted, credits. Um, opening titles um, and then it's also got a bunch of these are all copyright free and these are just the standard ones and then if you go on to this film stocks in this corner then it's got more that you can go on and then purchase or um, so I can get a free trial so I'm gonna start that um I'm not actually I don't want to log in right now but um yeah then you can get even more sounds and effects and then here you just drag your clips images um videos all that kind of stuff and then I love how this looks I've used it previously which is why I like it so much um other people might prefer like Final Cut Pro my mum does I know that much um but you can have all your clips down here and then you'll have your viewing part here. Whereas on my iPad version, it's all touchscreen. So some of the cutting, you can't get it precise. So if I wanted to cut exactly to, you know, I wanted to cut a specific part off of a clip, it would be really hard because I'm using my finger and you might be slightly inaccurate. So this just makes it a lot more accurate. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. I'm going to put this clip on there. So fingers crossed. This is what I'm going to be using to edit this video that you're watching. I'm just popping in to quickly give you an update. Um, so, turns out I can't put the SD card, these little SD cards, into my computer. I did not realise that it didn't have a port, which is really annoying. But I've just managed to order a little USB converter. So, this is what I got on Amazon. So, you basically plug that into the back of your computer and you can put in either the... SD or the micro 
and then transfer everything onto the computer. So it's fine. It hasn't like hindered me in any way. And I will get this on Sunday because I've got Prime. So yeah, it's fine. But it's just annoying that I didn't realise. And obviously I plan to edit this video on here. So I'm currently importing everything onto my iPad. And then we're going to transfer it onto the iCloud on my computer. And hopefully it'll work. So this might be a little bit delayed. It's already quarter past nine. So if you want to see a video about how I edit using my new software, then let me know. Um, because it's not completely new. So, you know, it won't be... Um, it's not like a, a new editing routine. But it kind of is at the same time. Sorry about the tripod. It's really annoying me because it's in the background. Um... But yeah, if you want to see how I edit now that I've got this new software, which um, I'm a little bit familiar with, then let me know because I wouldn't mind doing it. Whereas I never wanted to do one on my iPad because it wasn't the full version, so I couldn't use as many effects and things that I wanted to. And yeah, I felt like, especially in my vlogs, not so much in sit-down videos, but in my vlogs, when you want to use like distortion or um, have like funny effects on it, you can't because they're literally not accessible on the iPad version. There's just, I mean, if you have figured it out, then let me know because it would be good to know for when I'm traveling and I mean, not at the moment, but if I go on holiday and stuff and I take my iPad and I want to edit, then it'd be good to know because I haven't figured out the features. I watch so many YouTube videos and it just seems very basic. So I'm very excited to have all this new software. So I'm gonna leave you and I'm gonna edit this video on here. So just so that you can see what the speakers are like. I think that's pretty good. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And I know this was quite a long video because I did the setup as well, but I'm hoping it wasn't too boring. Um, and you know not to make the same mistakes as me because I was stupid and did not read the manual. So yes, I will see you in the next video and I hope you enjoyed. Bye.